Coach Annie here. Um, I'll give just a little bit, but um, just I'm probably a new face to a lot of you. My name is Coach Annie. Um, I coached at Fort Campbell for a couple years, and then I've just transitioned into a new role as the coach trainer, where I get to work with all of our amazing coaches at Tiny Troop Soccer. Um, and so I just am so excited to introduce myself to you. And then also I just have a, a couple tips that I wanted to share with you. Um, but first, some big exciting news is that registration for February is open. So if you are on looking and waiting for that, go ahead and go to tinytroopsoccer.com to register for the month of February. We're running in all the locations we possibly can with COVID stuff going on. Um, and of course, COVID precautions are being taken on every soccer island around the country. Um, and the world in Japan. So um, I, like I said, I wanted to just give a, a little, a little encouragement. Maybe we had our first week back in January after we take a break in December on Soccer Island, and um, maybe some of you had the, your first practice with your little tiny trooper didn't quite go as planned. Um, maybe they were crying. Maybe they were glued to your hip. Maybe they had a hard time. Maybe they were trying to go to the playground that were <laughs> that was close by. Um, and so I just want to give you some encouragement and share uh, my experience of my first soccer practice that might help you feel like that's normal. <laughs> my first soccer practice, I was five. Unfortunately, I did not have tiny troops to uh, get me started at age two, um, but I was five and my best friend was playing with me. I was so excited for my first practice. I had my cleats and my shin guards already, my new soccer ball. I was talking about it all week and then we pulled up to practice and my dad tells the story that I, he literally had to peel me out of the van to get me to go to my first practice. He talks that I, he had to get each finger to unconnect and get off of the van door so that he could drag me to soccer practice, my first practice. He knew I would love it, but I was terrified. All these new people that I didn't know and all these... Um, and this new coach that I didn't know, it was scary, a new field I'd never been to before. There was a lot of new things going on. And that first practice, I sat on my dad's lap the entire time. <laughs> I didn't touch the soccer ball once. I sat on his lap the entire time. And then I, I went home, that was it. That was my first practice. And my dad, thank goodness for him because he brought me to my next practice and then I was in. I was, I was in and I played for several years and years after that. And still, soccer is obviously one of my favorite sports, or I wouldn't be with Tiny Troop Soccer. So I want you to just know that if you showed up to practice on Saturday and your kiddo had a hard time, that's okay. That's normal. There's so much going on for them, so many new things for them to take in, especially at this young age, that it, it might take some of them a little bit more time to get adjusted to Soccer Island and to feel comfortable with the coach, feel comfortable with the new kids and the strangers that are around them. Um, so I want you to just feel encouraged to stick with it. Come back every session that you come to and bring your little one to will get better and better. And then the reward will be so sweet when you get to see them score a goal, when you get to see them cheering on their teammates, being a good sport, moving around, having so much fun, that huge grin on their face when they score a goal or do a cool new soccer trick or do get the pullback. That is so rewarding. So please don't, don't feel discouraged, keep coming back. So if you're on the fence about registering for February because that first session didn't go so great, or maybe you were, you were, you registered way back before we had COVID change everything up for us and you're wondering about coming back, please come back, please try again. And I also want you to know that our coaches are awesome <laughs> and they are so willing to be able to do anything that helps make your kiddo feel more confident and more comfortable and be more successful on Soccer Island. So if there's something that you feel like coach could do to help them feel more comfortable on the field, please don't hesitate to let them know. Even if it's just, hey, his favorite animal is a dinosaur. So could we be dinosaurs for our warm up? Coach will be so ready and willing to be able to do that for your kiddo to make them feel more comfortable. Um, so that is, there's my little Friday tip for you. And I can't wait to, hopefully you're able to get back on Soccer Island. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment in the comments below. Or if you were a parent who did stick with it and had a hard time your first session, but you came back and then your kiddo loved it, maybe share your experience to help encourage other parents that are going through something similar. Um, and another great place for that too is our, our Tiny Troop Soccer Parents page. We have a Facebook group for all the parents where you get to connect and share your experience and maybe ask for advice or tips from other parents. And you can get all the information from uh, Tiny Troops there as well. Um, so thank you. Have a good weekend. I hope to see you on Soccer Island soon. Bye.